Okay, Silver Pop here, and this is the beginning of my backyard bar and grill. We're starting out, I'm actually, I purchased two uh, gazebos from Sam's Club. They are from Backyard Discovery, which seems to make a pretty awesome gazebo from what I can tell. Um, they actually arrived a week earlier than I thought they were going to, so um, I was planning on getting out there this weekend and get, at least getting one, hopefully both of them up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, storm front has come in and working in the outdoors is not a great idea. So uh, I went ahead and unpacked one of the boxes and I gotta tell you, first of all, whatever engineer they hired to come up with their packing was really incredible. It was amazing uh, how much material they got into two boxes. Now they were dense and extremely heavy. So it's not like after the shipping company dropped them off in the driveway, I could just pick them up and take them to the backyard. So I had to take one piece out at a time went ahead and decided to put that in the garage so that I can start some of the pre-assembly as long as I don't make the parts too big or too heavy to carry out. Anyway, take a look and see what we got. So the metal roofing comes in a large box like that. Most of the pieces, they all come and you'll notice they've got a designation number or item number and that's gonna help you assemble. They actually have pretty good assembly instructions you got the four posts here. Well, here's two of them. Well, there's one is longer than the other, of course. I've got the other two. I did start pre-assembly. First item number on the instructions is to put the feet on, which is just a little black plastic cap with some weep holes, uh, I guess to help keep the post from wicking too much moisture. Um, they have all their hardware pretty nicely uh, labeled. And I've laid it all out on the table here so I can uh, see the labels easily as I start my pre-assembly. Okay, so I'm about three hours in. I've got the sides built, the front beam, the back beam, and I'm getting ready to build the roof panel. Um, so far, everything's going together really pretty simply, hand tightening everything, kind of leaving it loose so that when I do get an opportunity to get outside and start putting it together, I'll have a little bit of play, then I'll go back through and tighten everything up. But I'm real impressed. The, some of the boards were slightly warped and I was worried that uh, some of the alignment might be an issue, but it's really not been, and uh, been able to put things together pretty easy. So far, so good. So I've got the roof frame built and ready to go. It should easily go out the door. I've got the front and back main beams. I've got the right and left sides constructed, all ready to go. Okay, so today was a very successful day. We brought our uh, major pieces out from the garage into the yard, put all the roof panels on, assembled everything and you see I got my little starter grill my little Weber tiny kettle that's what we're starting with but uh, I've got big plans so this is gazebo one the second gazebo is going to go in that corner then hopefully build a roof bridge between the two so the entire end of this pool is under cover so we got adequate space to get by the uh, countertop that uh, as it comes to design kind of goes over here I'm gonna turn and bring it on the outside here. Then I'm gonna build out a small box similar to what we got right there started. And uh, I'll have a griddle grill and gas combo that should fit in this space. And then hopefully I'll have room for the kettle to sit next to it or just around the corner. And I'll do the same thing. I'll box out over that brick wall with counter space. Then hopefully my smoker it right there, a little upright smoker. And then on that counter space will be my sous vide station. Then right here, I'll build a small counter, stick it out. Uh, that'll be a pizza oven area. And then this side will be the bar and grill. We've got more space around the pool, so I can come a little further out with the bar. And uh, yeah, get excited. So uh, this is phase one. Keep following, subscribe. This is gonna take a long time to get it the way I really want it, but uh, it's gonna be a fun journey. Uh, enjoyed 
putting this together. Like I said, really, really good instructions. Everything lined up pretty well. Had a couple warp boards. I had to brute, brute force it a little bit, but uh, eh, for the most part, in pretty good shape.